Hello everybody and welcome to Path of Titans. Today we have some alien mods to showcase. We have the Kezaron, we have the Ketchy, and we have the same Samefrol. Now with these we have juvenile models and we have adult models. So here's the baby Samefrol. So we're just going to have a look at this one first. So Samefrol only has one species and that is Telek. This one is a semi-aquatic creature in the game and so it would fit in your semi-aquatic world. As you can see its skin looks so nice. That's kind of iridescent I believe. Leave. I, I don't know if that's the word. However, this is the baby and it looks like it's got a bite attack, which I would assume would do bleed. But yeah, very nice little creature overall. This is the adult right here. I believe this is based off of Suko. Let's have a look to see if it has any additional stuff with it. So, skins, it's got default skin, it has mottled, it has garami, and it has guppy, which is one awesome looking skin. Then for abilities, there are so many different ability categories here, but I know only a certain amount will be useful. So there is the bite, there is no sense, there is no front limb, uh, tail attacking metabolism, which is interesting. Uh, nothing for hide, nothing for legs, nothing for back limb. And it has quick evade for its tail, which is an interesting little ability. And for its voice, it has rally. Let's have a look now at these animations or the new attacks. So you've got the bite attack, which is this. You've got the tail attack or quick evade, which is just a tail attack by the looks of it. And then you've got rally. Which I have no clue what that actually does. However, that is the rally call. I assume it is a call. But we don't actually know what rally does. Anyways, let's have a look at these sounds for this critter. You can see that this creature is based off Suko just from that. Let's have a look at the alert. Interesting. And then this. These other ones animations are pretty much the same as Suko. So we're not going to have a look at them. But bear in mind this is a semi-aquatic. And Jesus Christ. This thing is fast in the water. Look at that. You'll be able to hunt down any dinosaur in the game with this speed which is always pretty good for a mod let's hope it's not op this is the catchy and the catchy has the default skin it's got capped and it's got lateral which looks pretty neat let's just go ahead and have a look at this creature so this does have a baby model however we're looking at the focus for the actual model here the actual creature because i'm gonna try and get through these nice and quickly for you all so this is the catchy and this is based off of the dinonychus model as you can see, nice little model there. Nice little attacks or jumps. The Ketchy also has a headbutt attack. So you can switch this out for the bite attack. I don't know what the damage difference is. Maybe one breaks bone and the other one's raw damage. But as you can see, it has a little, a little jab. A little headbutt. Let's have a look at its sounds. Very nice. Now friendly. I love the model of this creature, by the way. That's actually very similar to the other call that we actually showcased. But yeah, that is the Ketchy. And the Ketchy looks really nice. I really like the Ketchy. I feel like this is just a, a repo of the Deinonychus. That being said, the model is really nicely put together. I love the way when you run, that neck thing kind of looks like it gets bigger, but it, it doesn't actually. Very interesting. I love its eyes as well, those big eyes. Quite ominous when you're just being stared into by them. But let's have a look at the next creature because this is one that you'll all be kind of amazed by. This is Kezaron. Look at that. Look how badass this creature looks. And it does have skins. It's got the default... It's got pants... Because it's wearing pants. It's got shark. It's got banded. Which is my favourite. It's got corn snake. It's got patches. And it's got toxin. I really like this one. Because it actually has a really big smile. And it just looks very happy overall. It's a very nice little, little happy guy. So the Kezaron is very interesting to me. Because this one has so many abilities. And this is not even counting the headbutt or ram. So you've got the bite. You've got a back kick or a front kick. Oh no, this is a back kick, so that's like the Strikosaurus back kick. Then you've got a Gills ability. 
which apparently allows this guy to breathe underwater, but obviously when you're on land, uh, this isn't the best thing at all because now I am dying. You can switch back from there like that, and that will change up the gill's ability, I believe. I don't actually know what the gill's ability is doing, and I think it might be killing me. That being said, you also have a raw, which is a deadly poison spray. Which is the first of its kind, which is absolutely awesome. So you can poison people. And then you have a front kick. Or a stomp, which is pretty neat. That being said, there is also a ram attack, but you have to switch it out for the bite. Let's have a look at this guy's animations, though, shall we? I love the sounds for these creatures. The K23 creatures always have incredible sounds to them. That sounds like a lion or a big cat to a, set, to a degree. And that was a cow. Very interesting. They've got these. Are ba these animations will be based off of the creature that's taken from. I believe this one's actually taken from Oh Staraco. I would assume. I would assume this one's from Staraco. But yeah, that is the new K twenty three creature mods. They always look so shiny. I always want to say that. But yeah, these are some interesting mods. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you uh, accept our new alien overlords? Because I am mildly terrified by them. Because obviously Kezeron, Ketchy and the other one, same for all. They're all interesting. But it's nice that we have a semi-aquatic now and the likes of that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you are new, feel free to subscribe. We're trying to get to 9,000 subscribers by the end of the year. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Peace.